Hello everyone. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is the Weekly Mystic. This is the seven days of the last days of March, for the 25th through the 31st. This is a day-by-day -day reading. Each card will represent a day of the week. The last card represents the weekend energy, which is Saturday and Sunday combined. This does not have anything to do with your horoscope reading or your personal energy. If you'd like a private reading, please go to royalmystic.com, schedule your reading, and we'll do a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, this is, like I said, a group reading, and we're going to do a prayer that anoints all five decks. Uh, thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they need and seek for the uh, last week of March, the 25th through the 31st, to assist them in getting all the answers that may assist them on their path. We thank you so much, Divine, for your beautiful energy and your presence here is always welcome, as well as the blessed messages you provide. Thank you so much. Do, the, do them face down because I also put out the clarifiers. And uh, we want to have a moment to revel. So the underlying energy is not bad. This is the Ace of Pentacles. All aces are gifts from the universe. Therefore, this means uh, this is a wonderful divine gift, uh, allowing you to have a strong foundation, uh, a, a good, solid guarantee of financial structure, um, stability, and also the pinnacles mean here and now. They don't mean another lifetime, previous or past. They mean this lifetime. So this is a very strong uh, and encouraging underlying energy. Here we go. To clarify. And our clarifier for the for the underlier is the Queen of Cups. And that's okay. She's just a uh, Queen of Cups is always looking at uh, the glass half full, half empty. <laughs> she's kind of in a fear mind. Or she's looking back at the past, uh, reflecting with a little bit of uh, melancholy and remembering days gone by and things that have happened before or people that have passed. So if you've found yourself in a reflective mode regarding uh, loved ones that have gone by. Okay, gratitude. Gratitude is our card for the week, and I am grateful and appreciate all abundance that I have in my life today. So, <laughs> we, we, we darn sure do. Yes, we do. The abundance of, of health, wealth, and happiness. And, uh, if it's not what you have, then you speak it until it is. I am happy and grateful now that, and you fill in the blank. Speak your blessing. It never hurts to speak on the positive. Divine timing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have divine timing here. This is a really wonderful thing because it reminds us that while we wait, uh, sometimes we get impatient. We've got to understand there's a whole network of things going on for our benefit and the benefit of others. So if, if something that's going to come along and help you actually helps other people simultaneously, it's a really good uh, karmic blessing. So we will certainly be patient for that. Uh, these are the crystal reading oracle cards. And we'll see what the crystals, crystal energy has for us. Agate, healthy body. Okay, we ready? Here we go. This is Monday. The sun, the sun with the empress. So those are the two cards for those of you who like to write down what you have. The sun and the empress. This is absolute creation right here. The sun and the empress have to do with, um, if, if this is the life, bringing life to anything. It could be bringing life to a physical human life. 
It can be bringing life to art. It can be bringing life to a new beginning or a new cycle in your life because this is the moment where the path is made clear. The universe is in alignment. And uh, this is the time when, this is when, when people get these two cards combined. This is a lot of the time speaking on something, someone that is pregnant. And uh, you can be pregnant with more than one thing. You can be pregnant birthing an idea or something you're creating, a new development or something you're inventing. It can be a, creating a whole new life for yourself as well. Um, a book, anything that's being made or brought into being is, is what this energy brings in. So this is a fabulous energy and it's the highest wonderful blessing from the universe and the Empress. The Empress is God in the feminine form. So don't discount that. Oh, wow. Okay, so the next card is the Ten of Pentacles for Tuesday. So some of you are really bringing in a huge blessing for yourselves. And the clarifier is the, uh, this is a kind of a joker or additional card that's in this mini deck. This is the Hanson Roberts deck, the small one. And uh, this is to all believers. It's a special card made by the illustrator and put in for the readers. But I leave it in because it has such a spiritual significance. I love the fact that it's saying, keep your eye on the prize here. Ten of Pentacles is a lifetime of money, a lifetime of blessing, a lifetime of security and financial stability, okay? Building something strong, the big payoff, okay? So you've got two very dynamic Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. So definitely locking in the job for you. We also got that on our daily reading for Monday for uh, those of you who are members of my um, daily reading group. Um, this is having a beautiful, beautiful energy regarding you now possess the stability. So here's the page bringing in the negotiation and here is you receiving it. Queen of Pentacles is Queen Midas. Okay, but you also have to remember, this is a very stable energy. This is that grounded energy. Remember earlier I said, it talks about this lifetime. So this is your moment. You're finally reaching that stage and place in your life where you are secure. Again, victory, ace of swords with the queen of rods as the clarifier. So some of you may be starting your own business, striking out on your own, being independent, okay? Having that, this is cutting you loose from things that bind you. It can be moving you forward as well, okay? It can also be speaking to different star signs, which would be the earth signs, uh, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, and the fire signs would be uh, um, Aries, Leo, and Sag, okay? at Sagittarius. And here comes some more pinnacles, nine of pinnacles, being very strong and able to, everything being provided exactly at the right time. So we've got Wednesday with the, the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Rods and Thursday, nine of pinnacles with the Eight of Swords. So when we get into this point, okay, Thursday looks like a day of overthinking because there's so much out there to look at, to, to pick from, to choose from. The Eight of Swords is over analysis paralysis, okay? So um, being thorough is one thing. I had someone ask me, well, what's the difference between being thorough and overthinking? Well, um, being thorough is going through the facts and being able to discern which way you want to go from there. Overthinking is be going over the facts multiple times and still not being able to decide because you can't focus on all the things you need to focus on because you're, you've got too big of a scope. Sometimes you have to narrow the scope down, okay? What are my three best options and how do I focus on those? Don't try to do all of it. It's too much, it's mind boggling. So besides the fact, it looks like everything is being provided and you're having a hard time wrapping your mind around that. For the first time, you won't have to struggle to get things, okay? That is a strange feeling. I trust and believe me, I, I have felt it. <laughs> This is a fabulous week. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but here's the Nine of Cups for the Saturday, Sunday, okay? <laughs> With this beautiful contract or license or it could be anything. It could be anything. It's what your heart desires. This Nine of Cups means whatever your heart may desire, uh, this is being granted to you. So 
here's the beautiful contract or document, okay, it is a legal document or some kind of binding document. So let's go over quickly for the, for the folks who are writing it down. Monday, Sun card with Empress. Tuesday, Ten of Pentacles with the All Believers. Keep your faith. Wednesday, Page of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. So they're, they're making the obligation, the, the financial offer is out there, and you are able to take it and make it yours. Thursday, cutting loose of all ties that bind, anything holding you back, and now have the Queen of Rods. So some of you may be looking for financial backing for your business, okay? Um, and here it is. Boom, boom. There, there, Wednesday's the big day, and Thursday's your first day of being large and in charge. And then here comes Nine of Pentacles for Friday. And the, uh, I can't believe it, it, this is all happening. Oh my God, what do I do now? <laughs> I don't know what to do with all this. So that's that Eight of Swords mint energy. The Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. That's Friday. Don't, don't go into the weekend being in that fear mind, okay? Let that go. Pick your three most prominent answers and go for that. Nine of Cups and this beautiful, whatever this contract is, is what you want. So your heart's desire is granted on the on the weekend. So you will have it to look over. And that may be what the, the Eight of Swords may be. That's the fine-tooth combing of the contract. So we have these beautiful two energies here. The Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So uh, that's your underliers. Divine timing. Having gratitude. Looks like there's a lot to have gratitude for. And divine timing is coming in in a big way this week. And then we've got the agate, which is healthy body. I'm going to do some real quick, uh, short, fast definitions about the agate energy. Um, it's just because I do this as a learning thing for everyone. Not everybody understands stones. Um, I am not worshiping crystals. I am uh, informing myself of the energy of crystals because they do enhance. Uh, they're from the earth and they do have power. You know, like they have energy, just like everything does. People have energy. Things have energy. So I like to know about the stones and I'm super attracted to rocks. Uh, I'm a rock hound, have been my whole life. And I think anything you do as a child, you can't be wrong as a child. It's a natural instinct that no one has told you anything and you're just doing it. So I've always done it and I will not stop. So it's, uh, it's the base and sacral chakra, chakra okay? And uh, the agate shines its light into the physical body, awakening and igniting the body's innate healing wisdom. Profound healing occurs when you align with the earth's healing energy. Agate holds the secrets and wisdom to activate this powerful healing process. It is your birthright to know and experience this sacred connection, and the medicine of agate certainly assists in awakening this bond. And the crystal meaning is uh, it restores, grounds, and nurtures the energy field. It brings uh, in all divine qualities of Mother Earth. It reconnects you to the divine energy flow of the planet, and it assists in shamanic journeying to meet the plant and tree divas. Um, this agate can clear old emotions and negative energy that you need to rid yourself of that are becoming uh, lodged in your body and starting to have health issues. So we're going to do some breathing. We're going to do three breaths. Uh, I understand if you guys don't want to do this. Um, love you. Hope you have a wonderful week. It certainly looks like uh, there's going to be a lot of great energy for that. And uh, we're going to do a little meditation here. I'll see you next time if, if you're going now. Many blessings and thank you for watching. Okay, for all of you who are still here, we are going to breathe in beautiful white divine light from our crown chakra now. Breathing in the energy of the agate, holding it in our heart, and letting go of all unhealthy energy that is stored within our cells of our body. We release and turn them loose now as we exhale them back into the universe to dissipate. Second breath, breathing in beautiful white divine light with the healing energy of agate. 
we allow ourselves to connect to the Divine Mother Earth as we shoot this energy down the bottoms of our feet into the center of the Earth. Push, push, push into the core. Push, 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 push. And release it back out through your breath into the universe, back to the glorious Divine. Last time, breathing in beautiful white divine light and the healing energy of agate. Circulate it throughout your entire being, letting your soul connect to Mother Earth. Harmony, peace, and happiness as we exhale back into the universe, love and light to all who need it and any healing that may be needed by others we receive and deliver now. Thank you so much for this wonderful uh, united effort in healing ourselves and others. Thank you for watching the weeklies. Don't forget I have dailies if you'd like to subscribe. There's a join button below most of my videos. I think every single one has it. Um, that's a $5 fee a month for 30 readings, basically. Uh, we do dailies that are just like this, only they're only each day at a time. And I have a few more decks of cards that I add in with the angels. Uh, thank you for watching, and I love you all. Many blessings. Don't forget we have the twice-a-month readings on the 1st and then again on the 16th. Um, I'll be releasing the next set for the 1st of May uh, in the next few days. Namaste. Love you all.